It's the first time we've ever run the car on a proper race circuit and to have the oval NASCAR style circuit here at Rockingham, the fastest race circuit in Europe as the debut for our B12 Hyper EV is brilliant. This has been a, 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 t a tough project, best way to put it. I mean, I've done a few interesting projects over the years, and this one is, is really quite out there because we're, we're trying a lot of new things on a car at the same time, whether it's the wireless charging or the regenerative damping or the actual motors, the, the fundamentals of the drivetrain itself. And so just take one aspect of that. There is no mechanical differential in this car. It has a completely separate computer controlled drive controlling the relative speed of the two back wheels. So if a computer says no, you can end up with one wheel going backwards at 170 miles an hour and one wheel going forward and, you know, a bit of a problem. All of those issues which, which have had to have been um, overcome have been done through adopting a, a proper safety process that the automotive industry use when it's developing a new road car. And so that has been done fully integrated with a motorsport program. And that's why this has worked so well. Fantastic, yeah, it's so nice to uh, get out to a place like this and let it unleash it from all the, the testing we've done so far to actually come out and uh, have a good session. You know, I've been there from the start. I drove the car for the first time ever at Myra. Um, uh, you know, on our first rollout, and you look back then to now, and just in that short period of time, the cars came on absolutely leaps and bounds. The, the first thing you notice compared to a, a normal racing car is the absence of any vibration or a screaming engine behind your back. And that gives you this sense of real delivery of power. In fact, so much so that it's quite hard to judge how fast you're going. So you tend to outbreak yourself a little bit, go into corners a bit too fast. It looks great, goes like stink, and has this completely different sound which to me is the sound of the 21st century. The obvious thing is it makes basically no noise from inside. It sounds pretty cool from the outside. Because the car's so fast, it feels almost alien. You don't associate something, you know, something with such power and torque and acceleration with making no noise. This is what high-performance cars are going to sound like in the future. It's, it's been a, a fantastic project. I mean, it's all new stuff, all new technology, the learning all the time. So we come in here, we, we, we can do a, a one lap flat out, and that's just a, a fantastic uh, amount of data for us to go through. You know, there's nowhere else we can do it at the moment, so we're actually loving it today. It's been, been really good. Um, we will be in excess, it will be sub 200, but probably in excess of 170. If it dries out, flat out. Effectively three gear positions, if you like. So once you've done the startup procedure and the car's live, um, you can select either neutral, drive or reverse. Um, and you've got a throttle and a brake pedal. You stick it in drive and you press the throttle and it goes. Converting it into what it is now, um, you know, an absolute monster of an electric racing car. To give a, an idea of figures, I think um, it's it's not far off, you know, a kind of seven or eight hundred horsepower uh, V10, and and that's an achievement certainly. So uh, it's it's quick enough. Because this is so new. And, and, and we are pioneering a lot of the, uh, of the stuff. It's just brilliant for an engineer. It's a new playground. It's, it's a whole new scale electrics. So I feel absolutely delighted that we've built the first one. It's working great. And, and here we are really starting on it, the journey of electric racing.